What's good, YouTube? We back at it with another video, man. Today, look, I'm here with the best center build, which is probably gonna be the build I'm gonna use day one. You know, you never know. It's probably gonna be the best, uh, the best shooting and defensive build. But look, I've been trying this build like two days now. I've been looking through all the centers. The center builds. If you a center, I understand your frustration with these builds. None of these builds is the same. Not one center build is the same. Even if the pie chart look the same. They still don't play the same. But look, I've been looking for the center that I'm going to play with day one. I always like stretching the floor out. I always like playing defense, too. I don't like having a stretch big, a pure stretch no more because, you know, they ain't got defense like that. But look, I've been on this all day looking for this build for y'all. And I don't know what it is about the center. If you want to be a tall center, it's going to low-key be tough for you on the speed side. Like, you, you probably going to be able to score on offense or whatever. But when it comes uh, for you running up and down the court, especially if you play threes, you're going to have to take your time with your build because you, you, even 6'11 is tall this shit. Like, you got to go down, like, a lot. You feel me? But look, we're going to get into the center build. Before we get into it, I'm going to put all the socials in the middle of the screen. You feel me? The link going to be in the description, too, if you don't want to type it up. But make sure you hit that like button to it, that sub button. Don't forget that. And look. We're going to get into the build, but I'm going to let y'all know this right now. This game, it looked the same, right? Everything looked the same. The builds, the background, the pie charts, everything looked the same. But I'm going to tell you right now, it do not play the same. When the full game come out, you'll understand what I'm saying. But this game do not play the same. It don't. The attributes, the speed, none of that the same, bro. I'm telling you. The bad is everything, everything from the visual standpoint looked the same. But I, I promise you, it's not the same game. You're going to see that when the game come out. But look. I tried my best. I made a 6'8 center. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. It's a 6'8. You know, there's a lot of people making 6'8, six, 6'9s, six, because you understand if you get into the uh, my play building, you try to make you a center, a tall one. You understand what I'm saying. But we're gonna get right into the build. I ain't gonna hold y'all off for too long. But don't forget that like button. Let's get straight, let's get straight into the build. Alright, so first thing first, you wanna go to position power forward. The center, the center position is low key weak this year. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been, I've been trying out a bunch of center builds. It's low key weak this year. You, you move too, too slow, like way too slow. I don't know why. It's like 2K20, 6'1, not not 6'1, 7'1, 7'2. Like them tall centers. The speed on that is like the same speed as like a 6'11 now or a 6'10. It's weird because you know players like AD they get around the court, they be moving. So I don't know why why they so slow, but. The hand don't matter, there's a number y'all know, pick y'all number. But look, the pie chart, the pie chart you want to go with, is usually the, it's the pie chart I won with last year, but it's a new pie chart. This one right here is green and red. But y'all see the green is a little bit smaller. I don't really, I don't really know about this because you don't get Hall of Fame shooting. But this the one I went with, the half green, half red. So go with that one. The uh strength, I went with balance. You, you see what I'm saying though, right? The strength and the speed, like it is it's crazy how low shooting the centers get stuff this year, but if you wanna if you want the best one, I'll go with balance because you know they all low numbers, but try to get them all up a little bit. But look, close shot, you wanna max that out, you wanna max out layup, dunk, both of the dunks. Leave leave the post hook. We don't post hook anyways. But we just got eight finishing off of upgrading what I just upgraded. You want to upgrade everything but post hook and finishing. You get eight finishing off of that on a glass lock. This is this is shooting and rim protecting build. You still get eight finishing. But with the shot, I know we're going to do as much as we can with the shot. We're going to go up as much as we can. We want to keep the 19. We want all the shooting badges. You feel me? We already got a low three this year, a lower three than uh, last year at glass lock. So we want all the shooting badges we can get. And Mike Wayne was talking about some... Uh, 73s shoot consistently so we'll see you know every year they say this bill won't be able to shoot this won't be able but when you actually get good players on the sticks is is a different story because you know i don't know who be testing these jump shots or whatever at the 2k studio but we'll see about that defense you want to max out everything block offensive defensive rebound steal you want to max that out but lateral quickness you won't be able to max this out it's gonna stop right here at 62. Mm -hmm. all right this everything i went with you can pause the video real quick if you if you want to uh, do it yourself. But look, eight finishing, 19 shooting, one playmaking. We, we don't need none of that playmaking. We just setting screens, shooting, shooting greens. <laughs> but look, 20 defensive, eight finishing, 19 shooting. You get more shooting on the glass lock this year, but it is weird because when you're doing your height and all of that, it be going down. But look. Either go barely or build. Don't make no skinny center, bro. You're going to set weak, screen, weak screens. Go barely 
a build. I'm going build. But the height, this is where the game is way different from Tony. I understand the game looks the same, but people not realizing the builds and how they made the speeds and all of that is way different. I don't know if guards is affected with this, but the pie charts look the same, but they don't they don't have the same numbers as 20. They changed a lot of things about it. We'll see if the game better though. But look, with the height, I low-key think the wave this year is gonna be short centers. The higher you go, like I had a seven foot glass lock last year, but look how much you lose out on. Look at my speed. It's a 59. I didn't even touch my weight. And my speed is a 59. Imagine if I touch my weight or go max weight to get more strength. I'm a I'ma be real slow. I'm gonna be out there looking like y'all mate. So I'm not going with a high height right now. You feel me? If the game come out and them speeds don't really move that slow, we'll see about it. But right, for right now, what I'm seeing in the demo, I'm going with a 6.8. If you want to go 6.9, go ahead. But I'm, I'm going to go with a 6.8 because I get more speed. I get vertical. So I'm going to try a 6.8. It, it's real short for a center. I know that. But how this game looking, it, it seems like short center is the wave because they're the only ones with attributes. But yeah, a 6.8. The weight, I want to go as high as I can because of my strength. I understand I'm losing speed, but I can't be out there with a glass lock that's 6'8 with no strength. You feel me? I'm going to get bodied by any big center. You know, it's, it's going to be them people with them big centers coming every once in a while. I'm not trying to get bodied by them. You feel me? So I'm going to go with the highest strength I can get, 280. Yeah, 280. That I, I'm, I'm big as hell right now. I'm not going to lie. But look, one thing I don't understand, like, how do my wingspan affect my strength? I, I, I don't understand... Why, that, why that's a thing I don't know if that That really do that in real life But The higher wingspan you go The more strength you lose So that's another reason Why I gotta max out my weight I'm not trying to be weak You feel me But look I end up with a 73 Which is decent According to Mike Wayne That's what you need To shoot consistently So I have a 70 My defense is, is good Hopefully we get in a plus 5 With the 99.9 .9. If that's the case This build gonna be godly again Only problem That I see with this build Is the height but like I said, if the defense is different, if everybody else making shorter centers, then it won't matter about the height. But if everybody come out with seven threes and you with a six eight, of course you're gonna get out rebounded sometimes. But for now, the demo, this all we see, we, we don't really we can't really judge the game until the full game come out. But this this build looking good right now. So max wingspan, max weight. And then look, this why I like this build. Let me show y'all something real quick. We're gonna go back real quick. If I go to six nine. With the same weight and the same wingspan, right? No sharp takeover. You see that? No sharp takeover right there. But if I go down a little bit, like 86, y'all see that? Sharp takeover, 87. 88 is gone. 88 inches is gone. So I could go with 6'9 and get one inch longer in wingspan with a lower three. Y'all see it's, it's 67. So that's. I have a 70 on the other one. This is 67. That's three less than the other uh, height, 6'8". So I could go with that with a lower three and glass or rim takeover. But why do that when I can go down one inch, have a longer wingspan with sharp takeover, which means my three is going to be an 80 when I have takeover. And everybody know takeover does not just boost. the uh, Well, sharp takeover does not just boost plus 10. You feel me? Your greens is easier to shoot. Everybody know that. If it was just plus 10, it, would, it wouldn't feel as easy. But greens is easy no matter what three you have. You got the sharp takeover and make it easier. So, look. I'm going with the sharp takeover. I want to be able to shoot lights out. I'm 6'8". I'm a center. People are going to be sleeping on me because my, you know, the name or whatever. But, look. Sharp takeover. I'm telling you it's going to be deadly. Any center last year with sharp takeover, if you let them get their takeover, the game over. Because you can't help. You know, you can't help on a center with sharp takeover. But, look. This is what we're going with. The name come out a three level score. A three level score. I, I went with the red and green pie chart and I come out as a three level score. Like, come on now. Like, <laughs> the names the names this year, it make more sense. You feel me? They're calling me a scorer though, but somebody would think I ain't got no defense or this, that, and the third, but my defense is there. You feel me? I got 20 defensive badges. It's Hall of Fame too. But we, we about to sort out the badges, see what we're going to put on what. No, we're going with the 99 overall. All right, so look, finishing. Contact on gold, of course. Slither, we're going to put down silver. Fancy. We, we're going to put on silver, but we don't know if this badge is going to be. Nah, nah, nah. We're going we're gonna to take off fancy. You know, we don't have step anyways. Gold, silver, silver, bronze. All right, cool. That's good. For the shooting, thank God it's no more quick draw. Thank God they took it out. 
it, it's basically like if it, this was 2K20, we basically got 23 shooting baddies because you know minus four for the quick draw. I use Hall of Fame, of course. If you just use Hall of Fame, it's minus four. But look, we're gonna go with go uh, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, Hall of Fame green machine, Hall of Fame range stand up, of course. We need those off the rip. I will go with Hazo Hunter, but not right now because you know it's a demo or whatever. But corner specialist, I'm putting out Hall of Fame. What else could we use? Volume shooter. We, we, we'll put that on gold. But in reality, I, nah, matter of fact, let's take that off. We're just going to put on what we will actually use. I'll put Hazard Hunter on gold. This is the badges. Shooting badges. Same thing. No new badges. Unluckily. But look. Playmaking, unpluckable. We only got one. I either use unpluckable or quick first step. Nothing big about that. It's just one badge. Intimidator, Hall of Fame, Box. I'll put down with silver. I don't got that many badges. In the scepter, I put down on bronze. Rebound chase Hall of Fame, Rim Protect the Hall of Fame. How much we got? One more. I'll probably I'll probably put on clamps. I heard a lot of people saying Pogo got nerfed. We'll see if Pogo got nerfed. You know, last year you get Pogo stick, you, you why 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 you really don't get affected for missed time your jump. So this year, they punish everybody for the spam wide because you shouldn't just be able to jump, jump, jump. Sometimes you be wide open for a layup because they jump. But you thought you was open, but they jump again and get a contest. But look, hopefully Pogo is uh, nerfed and actually do what it should do. But if, if it's not, best believe that's going back on Hall of Fame. But yeah, this is the build right here. I'm not gonna play the. Uh, I'm not gonna play with this build, but I will tell you, I dropped 47 playing with this build against AI. I know that they are tough now. Come on now, they they playing a the Hall of Fame. I, I was just sparking. I was dunking. This build was dunking a lot. I'm telling you, it was dunking a lot. And the dunk is not even that high. The dunk rating. Every time I got on the pick and roll, if I was open, I'm dunking it every time. Even even with somebody in the vicinity, I'm still dunking. I'm not dunking on them, but I was dunking. I was dunking the ball. But look, this the build. Nothing more, nothing less. It's a nice build. If you if you like uh, spreading the floor as a center, playing defense, doing what you got to do, switching on the guard sometimes. This is gonna be the build. You six eight. You got strength, you got shooting, you got finishing, you got it all, you feel me? But look, anyways, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't and don't forget, if you grinding, you ain't never gonna stop shining, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.